There are haters. Yes, I'm ready. You are ready. Let's go. The haters, they don't really hate you. They hate the fact that you are growing and they're not. Yes, they see you grow. They see you living an intentional life. They see you that you're making progress daily, monthly, yearly. They see that you have plans and they don't. They see you that you really are consistent and they're not. And that's why they hate you. The other day, it was 9-11. I post something, the lessons I learned, the leadership lessons I learned from 9-11. It's, it's out there on social media. I had someone use a foul language telling me how terrible I am. You know, we had a lot of, I had a lot of great comments and I had one negative comment, one hater. But you know what? That's okay. I said thank you to him then I end up just deleting the comment because it was so bad. I have some younger generation youth reading my stuff. But long story short, that doesn't bother me because I am very consistent with adding value to people. You know, some people, they might not like it because who is this guy as coming from another country? He couldn't even speak English. Now here we go sharing his leadership lessons from 9-11. I want you to read that. It's all over social media. It's on my LinkedIn. I believe you're gonna like it. But even that made some people angry. Why? Because I've been consistent. I've been a student of leadership and I like to share. And I also remember writing my first book, No Excuses Mindset. I got a lot of feedback that for sure, what do you know about writing books? You've been in the country only for 10, 15 years. You can't even speak English. And now you wanna give advice to people. You know what? There is no giving advice here. It's sharing my failures, failing forward experience with people. My response was very simple. Sometimes no responses is better with the haters. But the reality is the book is the best seller in Amazon three times. No excuses mindset. And I don't wanna impress you, I wanna impress upon you. And don't get discouraged when you have haters because you're doing something really, really good when you have haters out there. If you don't do much, if you're not impacting, if you're not consistent, you're not gonna have any negative feedback, which is perfectly fine among those thousands positive feedback one or two that are always out there they walk among us i also after writing this book i ended up helping and coaching group of inmates in prison to write a book is a masterpiece men built for others all the proceeds going to nonprofit organization to send young kids to college it's fantastic, it's 11 people, there are 11 inmates. I coached them to write this book, they are just great stories. You can't stop reading this book. Now, my point is not to advertise my books. My point is, don't let anyone or anything stop you from your God-given gifts, plans, and mission. You have greatness within you and you need to become unstoppable and focus on your mission and God's plan rather than the comments or feedback from haters who really don't hate you. They hate the fact they're sitting on the bench and doing nothing. God bless you, stay positive, stay laser focused and make it happen. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel Yes, it's all about leadership. And if you like the content, sorry, if you love the content, subscribe to my channel so I send you a video every single day to keep you in the loop. Thanks so much and God bless.